You know, I love getting done with the project and having a new, you know, comic book out or a new uh, video out even or new music out or something like that. But that's all fun and, and well, but when it really comes down to it, it might sound cheesy, but it's kind of all about the journey. It's all about just being able to get to the next project. When I'm done with a project, a lot of times I'm looking forward to the next project. So I'm thinking that maybe something else is more the reward than the actual finished product. What do you think? Donkey Job Projects! Alright, so uh, basically this whole idea of work being kind of the goal is something that I was thinking of <clears throat> after I had listened to my buddy Joshua Kimball's, uh, one of his blogs that he recently did where he was responding to uh, this idea that people may not kind of take time out um, in their daily lives to work on a personal project um, and how sometimes people will, you know, if they find out, you know, that you're working on your own personal project um, during your downtime or during your leisure time at home, um, or even if you work from home and you carve out some time to work on your personal project, um, you know, a lot of times you'll hear, you know, people say that it's, it, it's, um, you know, they would never do that. Like they, when they get home, they want to relax and they don't understand, or, or they would just say, I don't have time. You know, I have a wife and kids or I have obligations and, and so I can't work on the, the, per, the, um, passion project that I want to work on. Um, so you're lucky, you know you you have time to do that because this this and this or whatever and the truth is is that everybody has things you know that they work that they have to deal with um <clears throat> i i have certain things that give me maybe a little more freedom but at the same time i have other uh, aspects of my life that most people that i know don't have issues with um and it makes my life where I, I have to pretty much do, you know, I just have a lot of responsibility, you know, and <clears throat> it is what it is, but, you know, there, the time that I do have, I like to try to work on, um, you know, my, like right now, you see, you know, I'm working on um, my comic, my uh, comic story for the 100s anthology that will be coming out in a couple months, um, well, I should say it's going to be like kickstarted in a couple months, but a lot of the people who are doing the 100 days, 100 days of making comics, or who have in the past, we all kind of joined together to do an anthology where we're all doing a six-page comic book. And so, little plug there, but that's what I'm working on here. <clears throat> and you know, I don't necessarily have time, you know, this is, you know, I have to carve out time. Sometimes on Saturdays, you know, I, I get some time in the morning. I mean, there's definitely big blocks of time sometimes, but there's definitely, um, you know, times in my life where I don't have any time and I have to make time. So even doing this right now, um, recording the vo voiceover, I'd love to be in my studio right now with my microphone and record the vo voiceover and, you know, have it all done in, in really good quality, but I'm kind of doing it old school style in my car on my lunch break because uh, things have been kind of crazy in my life right now. And so to even record video or to record a voiceover, I haven't had the time, um, but I'm, I'm making time for it, <laughs> you know, and um, pretty soon you're going to start seeing a lot of content from me from YouTube um, because I'm going to uh, be doing, actually, I'm going to be doing VEDA um, vlog every day in April. So I'm going to be carving out time for that. But those, again, will be like similar to this, very, very either quick videos or they'll be like little live streams or something where I'm just working in my sketchbook in the morning before I go to work or something like that. So you carve out time. Um, and to me, honestly, like I've never 
had a time in my life where I wasn't working on personal projects. Uh, to me, it's therapy almost. It's something I have to do. If I'm not doing it, I'm miserable. If I'm not at least thinking about it, writing sketch, um, notes or sketches about a personal project, then I, I feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> in my life. You know, I, I feel like I'm kind of it's not that life is meaningless because there's a lot more meaning to life than art projects, you know, but, um, you know, there is a, a almost a sense of loss, you know, in me where I'm like, I, I have to be working on something. So in my whole life, whether it's music or comics or whatever, I've always, always, always been <clears throat> working somehow, even if it's just in the planning stages, um, on a project and I've failed a lot. I have, but I've also, you know, I have created, you know, albums, I've created comics, I've created a lot of different little projects here and there. I feel like I could have been a lot more productive if I knew, um, you know, if I knew 20 years ago what I have learned in the last, you know, five to eight years, I would have been a lot more productive. Um, and, that, you know, that's very much due to, you know, online podcasts, YouTube videos, things where I've learned how to be more productive and, and the 100 days of making comics is a big part of that. It taught me that I can at least set aside, at least set aside a half an hour every day to work on my personal project, no matter what. I mean, there have been a few days here and there where I just, I couldn't even get that in, but those are so rare. And if you're pushing to at least work that, you know, half an hour every day, um, there, it's really, you're going to be hard pressed to not be able to do that. I don't care how much responsibility there's a way you can get up, you know, a half an hour more early or, you know, fit it into your lunch. You got to do something if you, you know, I don't know. And if you don't have that drive, I mean, I, I can't not do it, but if you don't have that drive, then, then don't worry about it. You don't have to ha have a personal project. You don't have to have like a side thing. It's just something for me that I feel like I have to do. So <clears throat> today I'm, you know, celebrating uh, work, you know, because the work is what's what's important. And, and, you know, it's like pretty soon I'm about to get to a threshold in, in, um, in subscribers that I'm and I'm going to be doing like a giveaway. But what's really important is the work that we put in. And, you know, to me, the work is the reward. So, you know, like. I just got to my 400th video. My last video was my 400th video I've put up on this channel. I've actually done a lot more videos, but some I've taken down, some I've um, done on a different channel that I don't do anymore and, and things like that. But to me, the work is the reward. The actual, like when I have a finished book or something or a finished CD, that's awesome. That's, that's really cool. It needs to be celebrated. But the thing that I look forward to is doing the work. You know, I love that's what I like to do when I get home. If I ha don't have time to get into my sketchbook or work on my comic, I feel like I, I don't know. That's the fun thing. That's the thing I like to do, even though it's not always fun. Sometimes it is pure work, but you know, that's, it's like the journey is the reward. You know, the work is the reward. And so I'm celebrating 400 videos because I've put in that work. That's more important than getting the subscribers. You got to put in the work, you know, and, and I love making YouTube videos. And, um, you know, if you've watched some of my YouTube videos and you've liked what you've seen, um, I really appreciate that. I, I'm glad that, that you enjoy that. And I hope um, you continue to enjoy that. So if you do like that, <laughs> please do subscribe. And let me know what you think about work being the actual reward more than the results.